I'm reviewing seven mind mapping programs in seven days. Today is day three, and we're reviewing a program called XMind. Let's do it! Hi everyone, Kevin Oxen here, and I want to get right into this because I've got a lot of things I want to talk about with XMind today. This is a mind mapping program, so if you want to use it, you've got to download it, install it on your computer. I'm going to go through all the details, I will talk a little bit about the things I like, the things I don't like, and then I'm going to give you some overall impressions. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible, but I also want to be thorough in what I'm doing. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about some of the details. The, the exact details of what I'm using right now, I'm using XMind version XMind 2012. You can get this at xmind.net. It works for Windows, Mac, Linux. They also have a portable version that you can put on a USB drive that works for all three operating systems as well. XMind has a free option and it also has some really good prices when it comes to the upgrades. You can get the XMind Plus for 79, the subscription for 79, or XMind Pro for 99 right now. Really, the free gives a ton of good features. So we'll get into that a little bit more. But if you want to add more, you can check out a couple of things. Mostly the XMind Plus gives a bit better searching, some more themes. The subscription is the exact same as the XMind Pro, only the subscription is obviously only good for one year. And you'll pay year over year, but you're always going to have the upgrades. Whereas the XMind Pro, you're going to buy XMind 2012, and you won't get any of the additional upgrades for future years. One of the best things, one of the best reasons why, if you're looking to buy this, would be they have synchronized Gantt charts. The Gantt charts actually synchronize with the mind maps. It has task management so you can set start dates and end dates, advanced searching, and one of the cool, cool features it has, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later, is audio recording. That's actually really awesome. To give you an idea about who I am and why you should listen to me, I've been using mind mapping software for a number of years now. I'm doing this because I want to make sure I know what the right software is for me to be using, and so I'm testing a lot of different softwares, and I thought maybe you'd enjoy coming along for the ride and seeing what I think of these and deciding for yourself which one might work better in your circumstance. I want to get right into some of the things that I like about XMind, and I've got quite a few things, so we'll open it up and we'll go through the list. I'm going to hopefully try and touch on most things, depending on time, we'll see, we might have to just skip a couple of the things, but you can read along with me and you'll let me know. A couple of great things that for me are amazing. When you hit the Enter key, I'll show you exactly what it does. We'll hit the Enter key, it opens up a subtopic just below where we are. So I can put new new topic. Great, and you're good to go. The tab goes one lower. It has a child node to things. I hit tab, there we go, and I can have new node. Great. Very, very simple layout. It makes It's intuitive. It makes a lot of sense. It, I think it has a clean layout too. I like XMind. It's not too much. It's not too little. I like the intuitive keyboard shortcuts. For me, I'm a Windows guy. I love having Control C, Control V. I like having you know my F2 that renames things. I like F. You know, it just everything that's supposed to work works. The keys, the right, all the keys do the right things that we're used to. If you're used to any kind of Word or Microsoft products, this stuff just works. That's why there's there's zero learning curve. You already know how it works. You just get in and you start doing it. I like the fact too that you can copy and paste things. You can copy and paste things into a, a tab document. What I mean by this is here, I'm going to go over to the, the XMind, the, the main node. I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to go in and copy the entire mind map. It's a very small mind map. I'll go over to Word and I'll paste it in. And all that happens is every time you do this, you can, you can see that everything is either one or two or whatever tabs in. So you can actually take something that's, that's already been tabbed in a Word document. You could copy it and paste it into any kind of mind map, into this, into the mind map. The drill down, this is something that not everyone talks about. And I don't have a great example because I've got everything, I've got just a huge number here, but let me show you really quickly. This will illustrate what it, what it does. I'm going to click on things I like. This is the, I'm going to do a drill down. What a drill down does with F6 is it takes that and now it makes that the main node. Clearly I don't have enough um, subtopics here, but the idea behind this is that you can take one topic out of a huge mind map and focus in on it, work on that, and then all you do is you can just either hit the link or I think it's Shift or Alt F6 and takes you right back to the main one. The other thing I like is that XMind has a home map. What a home map really means is that every time I open XMind, it's going to come to my main map. It might have your goals, your actions, your projects on it. 
I love this feature. It just opens it and it starts working. What What's better than that? Something I want to show you, I want to demonstrate a little bit. And this, again, it, to me, it's, it's pretty intuitive. The, I've got the plus sign minus the the multiplication and division signs. What these will do is, first of all, I'm going to show you, I'll hit the, the minus sign. It just shrinks the node. That makes sense. The plus sign opens it. Where it gets really cool is that if I hit the multiplication, it'll open everything below this point. If I hit the division, it'll op it'll close everything up to this point. So a great way this might work is, say I'll open this node, and I may have a few things open here and here and here. When you have a lot of large maps, this can be an issue where you've got lots of little child nodes. You, all you need to do is go back to this one here, we'll hit the division, and I hit the plus, and then what I do is it comes back and everything else is all neat and tidy for me. I can go into individual ones, and I can open them if I want, or you know whatever you want, you can go back in there and you can just open the whole shebang as well. And the templates, I've got some of the templates open here that you can use for different types of maps. Not just the look, this is actually the type of map. And some may be a, look a little small on your monitor. The idea being though, you can just use a regular one, or you can do a, actually a project plan. There's a dashboard one here, it's actually pretty cool. I think, did I open that one? No, I didn't open one of those. Let's, we can open one of these here. But it also shows the uh, a planning a meeting and a short meeting. So you can actually plan a meeting, you can run a meeting, you can open up a project dashboard. So it gives you a lot of different, just, just the different looks you can have in XMind. I like it. Labels make a lot of sense to me. I use labels for things like goals. I can hit F3 and I can have a goal here of whatever I want to have, July 31st. And it has a nice little orange tab on it so that I can see it. It's, it stands out and it's, it's easy to see. Labels, F3. Notes, F4. Oh, my goodness. This, for me, is the best part. Now, everyone has notes. So notes aren't a huge thing, but just it's simple. F4 is notes. I can open this. I don't have anything pre-done in here, but what you can do is you can take something from the web or something you're working on, copy and paste it right into here so that all you see is this node. And as soon as you click off the, the notes, it disappears, which that makes a lot of sense too. The audio recording, what this is great for is if you're in a meeting, you can say to someone, okay, oh, this is too much here. Let's just record this quick and then we'll send Joe off with it and he'll take care of it later on. You can record something, throw it into a mind map where it needs to go, maybe an explanation, maybe uh, someone describing something, and then you head off and you take care of it when it's the appropriate time. It sounds kind of kind of funny at first, but when you get into it, this is a really cool, this is really, really powerful. Now let's head over to what everyone wants to see, right? I've talked it up here. Let's see that some of the things about XMind that I, I'm not as, not as big a fan on. Some of the things I don't like. For me, the one thing here is the zoom. It goes right to 250% every single time. And you know, who knows, there could be a spot in the preferences that where I can change that, but that's a little bit of annoying to me. Here, I'll show you what I mean. I'll, I've already been playing around with the zoom a little bit here. You can either use the button down at the bottom, or you can use control and use the, the wheel on the mouse. I'm gonna go back to 100%. So here's 100% on my screen. One scroll gives me one, oops, let me go. One scroll up goes me gives me 150, and two gives me 200, which sometimes to me, that's just, it's too much. Maybe if I had 10% increments or 15 or 20, I don't know, something something less than 50%. When I'm copying to, now, I, I don't think this is, I don't think any piece of mind mapping software will be able to do this, but it's maybe on my wish list, is when I copy something, like say, for instance, I want to copy just the text, things I don't like. An example of this would be maybe I'm making a list. I'd have overall impressions, things I don't like. I copy all these things. And I just want the main headings. But when I paste it, it gives me this, plus it gives me all this tabbed. I don't know if there's a way around that, but as far as I know, every other soft piece of software does the same thing, but who knows? The other thing I'm going to pick on XY4 is the fact that they don't have an app of their own. There are a few other smartphone apps you can use, and it helps. You can use them on your phone, but... They don't have an iOS or they don't have an Android app of their own. You can embed things on your website, though, so you can still interact with things on the web or on your iPad, but it's not quite the same as having just a an actual app to use. The last thing I'm going to mention is something that I wouldn't have even talked about if I wouldn't have just been playing with FreeMind yesterday, and that's the fact that you have to drag in the mouse, you have to drag the map, rather, with the middle button of the mouse. That works great. But when I'm working on my laptop, you usually have to use that two-finger Cobra grip to make it scroll. And it, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit of a pain for me. I would just love it if I could just even left-click on anywhere here and just be able to drag and drop it, kind of like more like FreeMind. Overall, though, 
I've got to say, X-Mind is a very, very powerful system. It's intuitive. That's the great thing about it. You just you can sit down. You don't have to worry about learning new keys. If you think something's going to work, it probably is going to work. Even better news is that the free version is amazing. They do a good job. They give you a lot of free stuff. And there's a, obviously there are some great things you can buy when you want to upgrade. But the price is good if you want to upgrade. But they let you get started for free. There's no time limits. You can have unlimited maps. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Just all you're doing is paying for some of the cool factor where some of the other guys, they pretty much limit whatever you can do unless you pay them the big bucks. So overall, good job, X-Mine. I think this is actually a very, very uh, solid product, and I quite enjoyed using it.